Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and today we'll talk about the arrow functions, which is just introduced in the PHP 7.4. All right. So I already made a video on the typed property. You, if you just want to watch it, then you can just click uh, on the description box, and you will find a link here. All right. So now let's move on the arrow function. Before that, let's see that what we will cover in this video. So first of all, we'll understand that what are the arrow functions then uh, how we can use them with an example and we will see the example with the old way which is the for the anonymous functions and uh, we will also see the new way which is the arrow functions so after this video you will feel confident about that how we can use the arrow function and why we have to use it and all right so there are two purpose of the, the arrow functions first of all so one is the shorthand the syntax when we just writing the code and second is they have some scope binding all right so this is the basic syntax of that how we just write the arrow functions all right so if you are not familiar then maybe you just find that it's they are annoying but uh, they are really good all right so uh, now let's that basic way that this is the syntax now uh, let's see that how we can make an example for it so First of all, I will make an example, this the same example with the anonymous function and then uh, we will make the same example with the arrow function also. So let's say, uh, just define the tags first of all. Let's say I have an array with the name of count and it has some values like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, alright. And what I want to do, I just want to uh multiply the every value with the 10 so what you will use you can use the arrow uh, you can use a for loop you can use a while loop but uh, here we will use uh, some different way which is the mapping array mapping all right so if you don't know that the, uh, don't know about the array underscore map function you will also learn this the functionality of array map because this is the more efficient to the looping all right so now first of all uh, just take a variable with the name of result and now uh, let's take a array underscore map function and uh, this function uh, uh, as you know that first of all I'm just going to show you the old way then I will show you the new way so this function will take the two parameters in the first fun function uh, parameter it will take a anonymous function all right and in the second function it will take the array all right so which is the count okay so from here it will automatically pass value here and now uh, we have a variable inside parameter with the name of m so now i can just return dollar n uh, with the 10 all right and now if i just uh, print r with the dollar result then you will find that it will multiply every value with the by the 10 all right so here you can see that fine so this is the old way so now let's see that how the arrow function will work here so for that i am just going to comment here and now these values will be disappear from here now let's make a new uh, variable with the array and here i am just going to take again uh, arrow function again array map and uh, here just you have to use uh, simply fn and here just use like this like dollar n multiply by 10 and at the second parameter just put here count right and pass this dollar n function here now you can just realize that how short this function is here all right so now let's check the output first of all now you can see that we got the same value here if i just multiply it with the 15 then it will give the proper result still okay so now you can see that the whole code will become inside the very small function so this is the one of the use of arrow functions on the official website still they did not introduce the how they can use and how they can handle the scope binding with it so that i cannot even prove it because they are what they just want to do it so now let's say that uh, uh, that how 
arrow functions can uh, make the shortened syntax this is example if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any kind of opinion suggestion query comparison that you just want to ask and uh, demanded video you can ask me in the comment box thanks for your uh, thanks for your uh, valuable time and i really appreciate your time that you just give to my video bye bye take care